last very long. That was chaotic, and I'm tired. I'm just gonna get up and get going. A cool, misty morning welcomed me on the start of day two, where I will continue down the parkway into Lake Louise and eventually make my way down to Marble Camp. After loading up on second breakfast, I continue to make my way south. Shortly after passing the goat, I came across a mother in a parking lot that asked me to help hold her five-month-old baby because her bear spray had gone off nearby. Of course I obliged and held the baby while we cleaned him up, and unfortunately as she was going to throw out the bear spray, it went off again and it ended up spraying both of us directly, head to toe, and um, he took the brunt of it. So we definitely had to spend a bit more time trying to help clean him up, and he was pretty upset, uh, as you would imagine. And eventually, after about 15 minutes, she decided she had to take him to Lake Louise uh, to get checked out. So I hope he's doing fine. I'm sure he is, but I know that was tough for the mother and the baby. I hope that they are. I felt good. If you ever wondered what bear spray looks like, there you are. Being on the 1A was a place of comfort and familiarity. It's a road that I ride often in the summer with friends, and one that I never tire of riding.
internment camp. During Canada's first national internment operations in World War I, thousands of immigrants from the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the majority of Ukrainian origin, some citizens of Canada, were imprisoned as enemy aliens. Internment operations lasted from 1914 to 1920. This plague is in memory of those held at Castle Mountain Camp from 14 July 1915 to 15 July 1917. Okay, to go to the top, and she's gonna be steep. So, we're almost there. All right, made it to camp. It's 9.30, marble campground. Um, super nice, really nice washrooms. Uh, I'm really close to the registration and close to the river and I have a pretty dope campsite. Check this out. Simple. In a Canadian National Park. So they have self-registration permits. Um, you can either pay cash, they have the amounts. Um, amount here is $21.97 for an unserviced unit, which I'm using. Um, firewood's an extra 880 a day. I'm not using fire, so no cost there. Um, and then if you don't have cash, which I only have 25, so I'd be donating extra, they actually have credit card statements. So all I gotta do is fill out both of these, and then it actually goes into that little box, this bin here, you slide it in, and obviously they can get access to it, so pretty nice. Just like that. Boom.